Hey, Diva Gals. Now, if you've watched the movie about fate on Prime Video, you've seen Fiki Lay in Twalo, who starred in the film, and she pretty much stole it, if you think about it, didn't she? She had all the best lines. So we're here talking to her today, and we're going to find out all about the movie and also where she grew up in Africa. You may not know this place, so we're going to learn something new today. So we're so glad to have you here today. So first of all, tell us, how did you get involved with the movie about fate? Um, I auditioned basically <laughs> and I killed it. That's how I got involved. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the character you play. I play Dana, who is a British party girl. Um, she is really out there, super open, very, very forward, but she's also just a loyal friend. What do you think is the key to being a loyal friend on camera and in real life? Friendship, it grows and changes as you get older, right? And I think right now where I'm at in my life, I think friendship is really like meeting people where they're at and having like acceptance and compassion for that, even though you might not 100% agree. And where was the movie shot? How long did it take to put together? Yeah, so the movie was shot in Boston and I've never spend a, a prolonged period of time there but um filming the the movie over the six weeks um during the summer was a great experience and um I got to explore uh Boston I I got to reconnect with a friend of mine from home who I I hadn't seen in 17 years so I was there for her daughter's birthday party and then obviously like just meeting all the actors um my fellow cast members and then Cheryl Hines like inviting me um to the Kennedy compound to hang out with the Kennedys which was <laughs> great <laughs> Well, the movie is all about kind of new years and new beginnings. So it is the beginning of 2023 or about a month in. Uh, what are your resolutions for this year? I know that you are very interested in writing and directing. I am. I am. I, my resolutions, and I'm so glad that there are none because it, it really confirms to me that I'm already on a path I, I had decided a couple of years ago, I wanted to get a couple of things straight and work on those things. And the key is consistency, right? Uh, it's not a start date. It's not the beginning of something. You you start when you start and then you keep at it. Um, but I, I, I do think my word for 2023 is consistency because they rhyme. Well, let's talk a little bit about and say it for me again, lay, lay, doop, lay, doop, no? <laughs> Not not lay tooth, <laughs> le sutu. Le sutu. Tell me a little bit about the country that you're from and what it was like growing up there as a child. Le sutu is uh, again a tiny landlocked country, uh, completely surrounded by South Africa on all sides. Um, I grew up in the capital city. <laughs> I like to say I'm a city girl, even though it's pretty rural. Still, still pretty rural. Um, uh, we have a population of about 2 million. We have a king and a queen. We've got princes and princesses. And our people are just as crazy about our royal family as everyone else is about, you know, the royal family in the UK. In fact, my goal, my goal as a child, I was going to marry Prince Harry. <laughs> Megan. Um, but he he had come like they have very close relationships with the royal family in the UK. So Harry would actually come. Um, he has foundations there. But you know, I was I was a kid, and you know, <laughs> I wasn't ready. Yet. I wasn't ready. So tell me a little bit about your your writing odyssey and your journey, and what you'd like to bring to the screen. So I began writing. I mean, obviously as a teen, like moody teen, with like my my journal with the padlock. <laughs> the very fallible padlock because my dad went and opened it. Um, but my my writing, my screenwriting career actually began in uh, South Africa, where I wrote for a national broadcaster there. And I was sort of just shooting in the dark. But um, I think now I, I'm finding real purpose in bringing stories from home, stories from Africa. I'm from Lesotho, which... Um, for those of you who don't know, is a landlocked country inside South Africa. So we're kind of like a little Vatican going on over there. And that's where I grew up. It was 
totally normal for me to have to go through another country to like get out, you know? Um, but I, I, I do think I, I'm passionate about bringing that unique perspective to the screen, but I also have this perspective, right? Like being in America, being in all these big cities like New York, they couldn't be more different, right? And I want to merge those two worlds. And I, I, I think that there's people who are starting to do that, um, but I also have my, my little piece to share with the world.